Gary, uh, five years ago, football, lifting weights, that kind of stuff, yeah. um, military for eight years, Navy, uh, all this kind of lead, leads up to multiple years of pain. Why don't you tell us about your low back pain? Uh, just years of uh, thrashing, football, lifting weights, uh, heavy heavy lifting just at work. Uh, about two years ago, I threw it out at the gym finally and couldn't walk. And I've uh, just been dealing with it ever since, hasn't yeah. gone away. And so the pain's where, sir? Uh, lower back. Down yeah, your legs at all? No, nope, no sciatica, gotcha. just lower no back. No sciatica, and he's gone through multiple different ways to try to find healing for this. So he's gone to two different chiropractors. Tell us about that experience. Um, general chiropractors in the area, try them out, uh, no improvement. Uh, then a third try and found you. and. Gotcha. I want to give you a try. And Good, we're doing it on camera. camera. So you know when I do it on camera, that means I'm confident about what I do, by the way, guys. So you guys think it just happens. But you know, stuff in my shit works, and that's why I do it on camera. Yeah. Okay? I challenge other chiropractors to do that, so by, by the way. Okay, so he's also uh, got high off this oil stuff that's out there. That stuff's all just drugs, by the way, guys. You think it's natural, but it's still a drug that covers up pain. Yeah. It doesn't address the cause. So you guys can say, oh, what about the CBD oil, blah, 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 blah. But it's all just drugs. Yep. Just a different form of drug, guys. So that didn't help, right? Um, went to physical therapy. Tell us about that. Uh, again, run of the mill physical therapy, stretching, same old thing. Run of the mill. <laughs> it really helped. He said it, not me. I would have said that, though. Okay, so uh, went to the VA for what? Uh, again, more physical therapy and uh, cortisone shots and uh, stretching and heat pads and... Uh, <laughs> Pretty much everything you can put me through, I've done. And yeah, I've loads and so uh, he found a square on YouTube, I guess. Yeah. Gotcha. So uh, he's done the gamut. He's done the honest to God, chiropractic, holistic, medical, VA, everything you possibly do to avoid my office. But he's here. Yeah, I'm yes, right? So we're going to show you guys how real chiropractic works, how he's going to get better on camera with you guys watching. Uh, tell us about your um, sleep, by the way. Uh, I'm a dreaded uh, stomach sleeper, which is the worst you can be. But, yeah. Uh, how is it? How is it to know that you shouldn't sleep on your stomach, but you're still stupid enough to keep doing it? Uh, what does that feel like to you? I want to know what that feels like as a person to know I'm so stupid, but I'm going to continue yeah. to do it. It's uh, it's, it's one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Anyways, it's just funny. He's like, I know it sucks, but he goes, I'll continue to do it. Yeah. So guess what? I'm going to tell you to not do it. Hopefully you listen to me. Yeah. It's so funny. This is the funny part, guys, commentary in life here, is he already knows it's not good. Yeah. Yet he wants to pay me to tell him to not do it. Yeah. I'll tell you guys all day long. Come on in here. Stop sleeping on your stomach. $500. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. get it. It's it's not just you. It's everybody. Oh, I so. know. So uh, anxiety, a little depression there, because again, it's not a, it's not a commentary on him of anything military, anything else. It's just lack of sleep, guys, leads to the brain just melting. Yeah. And when it melts, you get anxiety, and depression. So we're gonna help him with that too. Anything else? We got some neck tension. We got some neck tension. Anything else you want to tell us? Uh, no, I think it's all just related. Yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Stomach sleeper. Hmm. <sighs> Stupid. Okay. Okay. So over here, please, sir. All right. Good. I'm just giving him a hard time because I love his name. I can't say it on camera, but his exact same name as one of my classmates in school. <laughs> you guys are looking up, like, Gary, Gary, Gary. There's a lot of Gary, so you can look him up. <laughs> so, uh, knees straight, bend over, touch toes, best you can, sir. How much pain in your back there? Uh, not so much pain, just uh, complete tightness in the hamstrings. Okay, well, give us an idea of tightness. Uh, around here. five. Five, gotcha. We're just going to go for relative ter terms here, guys, so go back like this. How about that? Just tightness. Tightness also? Yeah. Gotcha. On the scale of 1 to 10, what's that? Still 5. Still 5. Look at the floor, please. How about that? Same. Okay. Look at the ceiling. Same. Gotcha. Now, this is the big one. We're going to squat. And you're going to watch him. He looks like an athlete, right? Yeah. He's lifted weights all his life. He knows how to do squats. He knows how to lift. He knows how to manipulate his body. But watch him. He's Look at him. He just squats like a... Bad form. Yeah. It's pretty feel a little bit. All right. Good. That's about as low as I can go. Why? Everything's super tight. And the scale works out. Tightness in your still knees. Still a five. Uh, tightness in the knees, about five as well. In the back, still a five? Yeah. Gotcha. Now come up. Try one more time, only because it's interesting for people out there to understand what this neck adjustment I'm going to do gives to you. Okay. That you can, you'll be able to struggle with this a little bit. I get it, but you'll see how much better after camera. So try to squat a little bit more and see what you can do. That's about it. And that's that's about it, right? Yeah. You can hardly do that, right? Correct. Okay. So I want you guys to see this because that's really important to see that <laughs> He's not just playing with us. That's he's no. pushing it. And he's not he's not a wimp, you know, he's gonna suck it up the best way he can, but after we adjust him, you'll see it different. X-rays. So uh, X-rays, reverse curve in the neck, pretty standard, pretty sharp. The thing is problem is that's upper cervical um, extension. 
and um, the Atlas is definitely horizontal, little chips out of it because of some pressure on there. Um, the back looks pretty darn good, you know, some short leg, little rotation of hips, but the neck is definitely the key and you can see the arrows right there. The hardest part, the worst part about him is that's an upper reversal, meaning it's the high neck. And so that high neck put, puts even more pressure on the Atlas, which means the brain stem which throws his balance off. So check those out guys. Gary has a four millimeter right imbalance and lower left shoulder. Here he has a nine millimeter short left leg and five millimeter pelvic rotation. Here's where his problem is, high neck reversal and one third atlas wear. Here we have beginning arthritis and constipation. Take your time, you're a little nervous. Yeah, very. Yeah, I can see that. Take your time, dude. We're not in any kind of rush. Okay, just relax. Put your head to turn to the left mm. like that. Good. You see his eyes, guys? They were twitching. Okay, that um, shows that his nerves are really high. But tell us the reality of versus um, what you thought it was going to be like. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, very anxious, obviously. Anxious doing something before, new. Yeah. yeah. And how is it now? Not, not as bad as you thought? Or? Yeah. yeah. I felt like a cucumber <laughs> cracked me up. Okay, let this go. Come this way. Now drop your head. Come. Uh -huh. Good. That's pretty good, guys. I hope you guys heard that out there. Now, I forgot to mention that he's a self-adjuster. He pops his neck a couple times a day. And the reason why that's important is as I was setting up that left side, you could feel it poppy before I even did it. Mm. And so why is that important? Well, it makes it difficult to stabilize his body when he's starting to get better. Even though I'm going to make him better, because he self-adjusted so much, the ligaments and things are, are stretched out a little bit, so they're not going to be quite as stable. So, again, careful for self-adjusting, guys. You don't want to do it. I like to help my patients up because I don't want them twisting or turning. You know why? Because they'll undo my work. So I always try to give them a break and help them up the first time. And we're going to listen in and see how Gary's doing with this first adjustment. I think he's changed a little bit. Uh, I've Honestly, I do feel a lot looser. I don't know if it's just the anxiety. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. Yeah, I just but feel a little different, huh? Yeah, gotcha. sure. Uh, better than any shrooms or pot you're taking? <laughs> Definitely. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm probably walking out of here and I'm like, oh. We're going to send him on a walk to recalibrate to spread that adjustment from his neck to his body. Let's see how he's doing. I was anxious, that's for sure. Really? You feel a difference? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, but one thing, my lower back was really tight. But when I got now, it's, it's like it just instantly loosened up. Quite honestly. Yeah. Did I touch your back? No. Yeah. Kind of interesting, huh? Yeah. And what I touch only? My neck. Just your neck, huh? And so you already feel a difference. Yeah. Good. So look at your face. You're like, <laughs> I told you, I told you on camera. I said, I'm going to show what nobody else can do because yeah. I'm so cocky because I know what I'm doing. Remember that kind of crap? I just yeah. said like three minutes ago, right? Stand over here. Okay, the VA didn't do this for you. The PT didn't do this for you. They're the chiropractors. Oh. Okay, let's try it now. Then go touch toes, touch again. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's crazy. Way lower, way lower, right? Yeah. Tell us about the, tell us about the symptom. Oh my, uh, my hands are really, really tight, and now it was yeah. significantly looser. And so, uh, as an athlete, how often do you try to stretch your hamstrings? Never. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was ready to set up this whole this whole gotcha thing, but he just goes, I don't stretch. So, yeah. anyways, but I mean, is that amazing? How much fat, more flexible you are? Yeah. Okay. So flexibility is useless, guys. Useless because look what I did for him in less than three minutes. He has yeah. way more flexibility because why? Neurologically, the muscles are still spasm. You can't break that bond. You need yeah. the, the brain to turn it off. So go back like this, sir. Yeah, it, it definitely feels a looser, for sure. Gotcha. So uh, go and look at the floor, please. No pain there. Look at the floor with your neck. Yeah. Look at okay. the ceiling. Now, important. The reason I do this, guys, is because again, I work on necks, right? Yeah. He had no neck pain, but yet I worked on his neck to fix his back, yeah. and so he still has no neck pain, but his back feels better. Mm -hmm. Explain that to me. Okay, anyways, now the best one, squat. <laughs> That's crazy. It really is. Hoo-ha! Dang. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Do it again! Come on, people! Yeehaw! That's crazy. That was a full squat. Oh, that yeah. was a full squat. And we forced him. I told him to go as hard as you could, right? Yeah. And you couldn't go any lower. I couldn't. I really couldn't. What do you think of this experience? Good. Not bad so far? Yeah. So what kind of excuse are you going to tell me why you waited two months to feel this much better? Oh, no, no excuse. Uh, home reno and, and work schedule. So now that's oh, over. I get it. Free. I hope you guys learned something there. Neck is way more important for all you guys who want to hate on me. I just showed you how all this pain can be magically. Okay. 
I don't know if it's anymore. Anyways, you can go away with the neck adjustment. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the video. Good. Crazy.